not super worried about that. But, the, um, the problem is, is 498 miles of it can be a snoozer, but if you get a green white checkered and a couple of wrecks at the end, a couple of green white checkers, then people's uh, assumption with the race is it's ultimately a great race. So. Um, I was watching the race. They, I think they showed on FS1 uh, last night. There was a race. Like Jeff Burton was in it. I forgot what year it was. Remember what, what year was that last night? It was on FS1. 2013, maybe. It was about a decade. You were watching FS1 old races last night? It was great. It was great. Uh, I was sitting in the bus watching it. And... And they certainly, that race 10 years ago is going to look different than what it is tomorrow. Um, in what way? Uh, I think that those cars punched a bigger hole in the air, so the runs came quicker. Uh, and also, it seems like the wakes of these cars, these cars are much more efficient through the air, so the, the wake's smaller. Uh, it takes more cars to generate runs. You could That was almost a version of the tandem, which in my opinion was one of the best hands. Speedway package system. Um, you can add me on that if you want to. But, uh, you know, Harvick, that was the race where Harvick pushed McMurray all the way out to the lead by like 200 yards and got him at the line. 2010. So, yeah, 2010. So um, I, this car doesn't have that ability to just link lock up and go. Um, so I think it's evolved from waiting around for the wrecks to change into where you have to get track position early in the day because the only opportunities you have to get track position are really on pit road and leapfrogging guys on your entries to pit road on your fuel, fuel strategy so how you get track position changed a bit i don't think that it's worse necessarily the third lane doesn't come in because the cars drive good but um you know there's a lot of there's a lot of things to a lot of levers this next gen car nascar is going to pull and I don't think Speedway Racing is the top of the priority list. I think that Speedway package is at the top. Um, and they've got some really cool things coming down the pipeline to, to hopefully make that better. How did, how did they take feedback to short track racing? Uh, the biggest thing is, is dirty air and cleaning the wakes up of, of the leading cars. But also there's a, there's a grip to horsepower ratio that, that is a little bit too much. Right? We made the cars heavier. We took downforce away. Um, I think the downforce is crumbs relative to just we need to add some power and take a little bit of grip away and, and Goodyear's on board with that. Um, there's obviously a really small box NASCAR in when it comes to adding horsepower with the long-term play of trying to cater to the OEMs, potentially new OEMs. Because I do agree with them of like enticing a new OEM to come into the sport would be a huge, huge bump uh, for a team like mine. You know, because for example, if a Honda comes in, then it takes one or two teams on that Chevy totem pole or a Ford totem pole and moves them out and it moves us closer to like the feed of information. Um, so that's what I would hope would, would happen is we can entice a new OEM in the next two, three years to come in and, and the high tide would raise all ships. What do you attribute um, Spire's uptick to? Um, a little bit more help and resources from the GM Tech Center, uh, a lot more sim time. Um, just a better understanding of, of, of aero maps, of tire grip, things like that. And we get, we've got some great people that are working. I mean, my guys do the job of 100 guys, and I've got 30 of them between two cars. So, you know, those guys, the, the potency of my group is, is really strong, and we've got um, a lot of motivated guys. And, and you know, I'm pretty confident, feeling pretty good right now, so that certainly helps. It's kind of like a chicken and the egg. You want to have – you gotta have fast race cars to be confident, but you gotta be confident to drive your fast race cars fast. But we've got, uh, we've had an uptick in both lately, so it's been nice. With those combined resources, you said you have about 30 people between two teams. It's 33. 33. Would those, would have been uh, more beneficial for you to have one strong car or just have the two operations for Spire? Uh, I mean, Ty brings a lot of veteran experience and feedback to our team. and. Um, you know, it's just a business model that Spire has. They need to stick to. To it's not like they have car dealerships or rental things to, you know, use the race team as a write-off per se. Like they're actually trying to operate it like a like legitimate business. And um, so, if two cars is is how they want to run their business, and that's that's what we're going to stick with, and that's what we're going to continue to grow. With this improvement that you guys have had uh, over the last few weeks, um, what are you expecting with Dover coming up, especially considering last year it seemed to be one of the better tracks in most fans' opinion? Uh, with this and Do Dover's great, man. I, and this car was designed for the intermediates. You know, we, we forget that. Our, this car was designed to, 
to run, put on good shows at Vegas, at, at the Charlottes, at the, you know, at places like that. And we've seen that. So now NASCAR is going to work um, to, to try to make the Martinsvilles and the Richmonds and the Phoenixes and, and the Dovers better. But Dover is just a gnarly track, man. It's it's fun and super fast. Uh, but I think with a little bit lower, we're not going with the super low downforce package that we've been going. We had at Martinsville, but. Um, you know, I think that it really depends a lot on what tire Goodyear brings. If they bring the same tire back, it'll track will get pretty wide, be multiple grooves of racing, and uh, give us some options to try to pass guys. Is that what you're hoping for, or are you looking forward to? Man, Dover's put on some really good shows the last couple of years, so I'm looking forward to uh, another good one here next week. What happens with Trent Fisher being so key with this car? Can you afford to ride at all, or do you have to stay aggressive? Well, uh, I mean, you, you can take it. Look at Joey last year, right? Joey went in with his. His, with the, he was like, I'm, I'm just gonna go ride, right? It works for some guys, we're gonna ride Mr. Rex, and he rode around all day and run 28th. And you just can't afford to, if you wanna win, man, you gotta be up in the mix. And, and he knows that, right? So it just, his plan backfired that one instance he wanted to try to ride, so, um, and my, I used to be the, I called it a vulture race, and I didn't like doing it, but just the speed in our car, we, that was what kind of we were relegated to. We we were just fast enough to drive to the middle of the crash, right, or right where the middle of it, where it happened. So we generally would ride in the back and protect our car for 500 miles and be there at the end when everybody wiped, wiped each other out and finished seventh to 10th. But you're not gonna, you're not gonna win like that. So our, our strategies have certainly changed since uh, this next gen car came into play. You got a run in with uh, Kyle Busch at Martinsville. Did you talk to him at all this week about him? No, I mean, he was having a bad day. I was having a bad day. and. You know, just the motions of racing. What happened there? Or? Oh, I mean, it was freaking hot, and you're sliding around, and and I was bleeding positions, and he was also bleeding positions, just, just at a slower rate than I was, and he drove in my left rear a couple of times, so I gave him a little door back. Um, so, I mean, <laughs> that's just racing. I mean, you're gonna yeah. get guys, you're gonna get some bent feelings. Here's the thing, too. I've actually, when I'm on, when I'm on the racetrack, I almost put into context, okay, who is going to play, who am I, who's going to say yes when I ask him to play kickball here in October? <laughs> Kyle Busch said no last year to kickball, so I'm going to give him a little more door than I would somebody else that's going to sign up to play kickball. So to be on your good side, you have to play some kickball with you. Is that correct? <laughs> you, would be, you, you would get a three-corner rule before a bump and a two-corner rule for sure. It might buy you a corner. <laughs> Hi, this is Steven Stumpf. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, check out the two videos beside me, and for more racing content, visit frontstretch.com.